Guess what I did last night? If you turn around and look, you'd know because you're sitting on it. I got another machine. This one's going to be pretty cool. I think. Ah, screw it. Let's just look at this thing and let me show you what I got and instead of going on for 20 minutes about... You get the point. Let's check this mower out. I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul You suckers didn't think I'd make it that easy, did you? Now, if I moved, you could see the logo on this fancy hopper behind me. You'd know exactly what I'm sitting on here. But I'm not going to do that. So, watch the whole thing to the end. I'm going to explain in the end exactly why I did what I did, why I have this machine. I'm going to sum up what I did in a video the other day when people were asking about, you know, just go and do it, buy that, that FB3000 blower. I'm going to tell you exactly what decision I've made, why I've made that decision, and we're going to go over a couple other things. But I will close and wrap everything up in the end of this video. So you can skip to the end of it, um, but then you're going to miss all the cool stuff in between. Or you can just watch it right through like a normal person, you know, and then everything will come together for you in the end and you'll feel complete and wholesome and everything will be good and the clouds will part and now let's just do this mower. Okay, so why am I sitting on an X Mark Laser G? Well, I'll tell you why. Because like I mentioned in the last couple of videos, if you guys have been paying attention, you've been following along, I put the Walker B up for sale. Now let me explain real quick. Nothing against Walkers. I love my Walkers. And now I can say I love my Walker because the B is gone. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that one, uh, the top speed of that Walker B is like nine miles an hour. Um, it's uh, that's kind of quick for a little mower, and when you're on smaller properties zipping around, I mean, it seems real spunky and real quick. Um, but the thing is, is when I was running Walkers, I was doing a lot of cookie cutter houses, a lot of just quarter acre, maybe even some half acre houses, um, nothing too crazy. I've got a lot of bigger properties now. I have a handful of properties that are, you know, a couple acres. I have one property that's four acres, actually two. One. One that's four acres, one that's three, just over three acres. I've got a bunch of bigger properties, and that Skag V ride proved to be insanely awesome last year. We we're flying through them, that mower cuts great at a high rate of speed, and that thing flies, okay? 
Um, I say flies, but that thing tops out right around, I think, 10, 10 and a half miles an hour. Um, and that's, that's fast. I, I know, like, I think Ryan's um, new Ferris Z3X or ZX3, whatever it is, that thing's even faster. But, you know, that skeg's fast. It's plenty fast enough for me. I think getting too far over that, you're, you're really sacrificing cup. But anyway, so the Walker B just didn't do it. And on top of that, the Walker B has just gotten to a point where it's just beating the crap out of me and Billy. Um, no suspension, the grammar suspension seat on is garbage. I've told you guys about those. I'm just not a fan. So anyway, I put it up for sale within the first hour. I had over 18 people contact me about that mower. Everyone wanted it. One guy wanted me to ship it to Nebraska or some crap that wasn't happening. So this guy contacts me and he's um, almost seven hours away and he says he's got a deal. And so he had two of these mowers. They're both 2017 Xmark Laser Z X series. There's the, um, I believe the S, E, and X, or E, I think it goes E, S, X. X is the top of the line, top of the line commercial, okay? Um, S is like, or E is like bottom line, like homeowner type, just gets you into it. S is mid-grade, and X is the top. This is the X. So, um, so he had one with this UltraVac bagging system on, and he had one that had a mulch deck. I did not want the mulch deck, so I told him, this is the one I was interested in. He wanted to trade straight up. So I told him, I go, we'll talk as soon as you get here. If everything checks out, great, but if not, you will have wasted the drive. And he said, not worried about that. If you don't like my mower, I'm prepared to buy yours outright anyway. So anyway, he gets here with this. It has a 52-inch ultra-cut deck. If you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know I had the Xmark Vantage 36 stander with the Ultra Cut deck, I had the Xmark Vantage 52 stander with the Ultra Cut deck, and way back in the day I had an Xmark Laser Z HP, bottom of the line HP, I love that zero turn, that thing was awesome, Till we finally blew the motor, put a new motor on it, the thing was awesome after that and I just ended up selling it and uh, that's when I went to, I was just running standards I believe, or whatever I was running, but anyway, so he said he had this, and I was very interested. He had all the all the service work, everything's been done at the dealer. It's got the weight kits on, it's got everything. The only issue with this thing is this crack. There's a small crack in the tube right there. No big deal, easy fix. And if I can't fix it, this section of the tube is $134. I'm not worried about it. Other than that, it's perfect. It flies. It has, I believe the two options with, with this thing were 12 cc pumps or 16. This has the 16s. It has a 25 horse Kohler EFI, the same engine that's on my Skag V-Ride 2. It's definitely faster than that V-Ride 2. Um, it has this suspension seat. Super comfortable. I love it. Um, I rode it around a little bit last night. It was dark when the guy got here. Uh, and then I rode it around more this morning. This thing flies. The hydros are super responsive. It's nice. It has the new what's called Red Technology. Um, this is actually the first gen of it. There's another generation. So to throttle it up, you're at the low point and then it's a toggle switch. Goes to medium and then high. And that's how you throttle it up and each one can handle you can mow in any one of those ratings and it doesn't uh you're not burning as much fuel or you're just running it at lower rpms but it's still cutting efficiently awesome system if you don't know about that red technology um look it up on youtube there's a lot of videos it's pretty sweet it has a 12 gallon fuel tank um definitely holds lots of fuel um i know how good these ultra vac bagging systems do because i uh I had it on my last X Mark, um, and that was the homeowner's one, and that thing was phenomenal. So this one's going to be even better. But this is going to be an all-around great mower for my everyday mowing without the bagging system. And then when I need to bag, I could just throw this on. Or I have the Skag that bags, and I have the Walker GHS still. The other thing I love about these is Skag is one of the only mowers on the market that you can't just pop. If you're out mowing, you can't just pop this turbine off and then start side discharging because on a skeg you have to bolt in two baffles in the deck to run the bagging system and it takes the mouth of the deck from that down to like that and it blows out like shit it does a horrible job with these x marks all you do is you pop the tube off right there and pop the clip off and you slide the thing out pull the belt off slide it out comes off in less than a minute and the deck is still the same width and down the road you go you're side discharging that's what i love about these things Okay, so I've explained it in many videos. My favorite two cutting decks on the market is Toro's Turbo Force and Xmark's Ultra Cut. Ultra Cut is still number one for me. I've said that in many videos. Another reason that instantly attracted me to this mower. 
So we did trade straight up. This thing has about 980 hours on it. Um, I'm not concerned with the hours. Um, these days I'm, I'm more concerned with um, the maintenance that was done on the machine before I had it, whether it was kept up, things like that. Everything I've gone over looked great. Um, dealer did everything on this machine for these guys um, and the dealer just serviced it before it was brought to me. Um, so this, this thing's great. It's ready to go as is. It's in, you know, perfect shape. It's, it's ready to mow, ready to go. So let me talk real quick. Um, instead, I'm not going to drag this thing out. Let me talk real quick about that FB3000. The one reason why I was hesitant on buying that thing, other than I just bought a truck and a plow, I have to have a 36 for this year. I need a 36. There's no way around it. I have to buy a 36 inch mower. Okay? So that puts me in dilemma. My plan was this coming spring to buy a new 36 inch standard or walk behind hydro so that I could um, have it for this year. I need that more than I need the blower. I would love to have the blower. I know it's a smoking opportunity. I know another opportunity is not going to come along like that, but I have to be smart. If you guys want that blower, I'm sure you can get it for the same price. I will get you in touch with the guy that's selling it. He lives in Georgia, just so you know, but shipping can be arranged, okay? Financing can also be arranged if you're interested in that blower. But I have to, I'm going to have to pass on it. I have to buy a 36 inch mower this year. Uh, instead of selling the bee and using the money for that to buy the blower like some people suggested in that video, the grandstand is awesome. That is a great mower, but it's getting up there in hours and it's not that fast. It'll eventually, it'll get through another season, no problem, probably two, but it's eventually going to need wheel motors at like $700 a piece. There's two of them, okay? So it just, it isn't as fast. It cuts great. It starts up every time. It'll never leave you stranded. I'm probably going to sell it or offered a trade for a 36 if somebody has one. Um, but so right now with the B, Walker B being gone, it would have left me with the Skag V Ride 2 and the Toro Grandstand. Like I said, the Grandstand, it's just not as fast as it used to be. So now this and the V Ride 2 will be my everyday mowers for the 2021 season coming up. <clears throat> They'll be my <clears throat> general mowers for me and Billy mowing all day. Um, It'll be these two mowers. They're both very fast. They both cut great, and that's going to be the deal. So, watch yesterday's video. The Ferris Walk Behind that is for sale. I'm asking sixteen hundred a best offer. The Grandstand. I'm going to give that another bath since you saw it in yesterday's video. It's dirty because I had to pull a tractor up here with it. Um, but both of those are going to be up for sale. They're up for sale right now. Sixteen hundred or best offer on the uh, Ferris Walk Behind. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to ask for the grandstand. Probably like two grand or best offer. Uh, that mower's worth all day. If you guys aren't sure, go back and look at all the videos I did last winter when I gutted that thing and redid the whole mower. Um, practically the whole mower. Um, so you'll see what's into it. Uh, two grand on the grandstand and uh, 1600 on the Ferris. And, uh, or I will trade one of them or both of them for a 36 inch stand or walk behind depending on the condition of the 36. So that's the deal. That's where we stand. I know it's a lot of talking in this video, but I have a lot of stuff to close up, wrap up, and I wanted to show you guys this mower. And uh, I think I'm going to be happy with it. It's going to be pretty awesome. Right here is the mount that I noticed last night for the bagger, but there's no bag on there. So I'll have to get a bag for it. But other than that, oh, and this right here, I forgot to show you. He did give me um, the grass deflector, still brand new, that goes off the deck. They took it off when they first got it. He gave me, it comes with the um, OCDC shoot blocker that goes on the deck, and that's what this is for. You can change the position of it to wherever you want it for a shoot blocker. You guys know this is going to get a power shoot. So um, I'll probably just sell that. And he gave me spare belts for it. So the main deck belt and the belt for the UltraVac system. I think I got a smoking deal. I'm super happy with this thing, and I cannot wait to make tons of videos with it because there's practically nothing. I've looked. There are a lot of videos from Xmark Manufacturing out there, but really nothing of just everyday use of a guy using it. Uh, I think Brian Law Maintenance has a handful, but his are all like point of view videos. Like you don't actually see the machine, so there's not actual quality video showing this. Um, nothing against Brian. But it's just not, you know, I, I feel if you're not actually showing the machine, it's not quality video of the machine. If you're just doing a vlog, whatever, no big deal. But uh, as far as showing the machine, I want quality video, and I think you guys do too. So I will put out a ton with this, and uh, I can't wait to rock this thing this summer.